Well, doing this stunt actually proves that Dunlop is an innovator, um, a record breaker. We've won many events in the past with broken records, even going back to the early days of the land speed record, um, the Campbells with the Bluebirds, um, and uh, since then, winning, winning many races around the world. Um, Dunlop has got a heritage of, of, of record breaking, so to get involved in, in something like this is, is a great opportunity for us. A concept that keeps coming up on this journey is that of G-forces. That's something I'm going to have to get used to if I'm going to pull this stunt off. I've thought of a way of doing that, and that's tracking down an old friend of mine I've done some stunts with in the past. But I'm not looking forward to it. This is an Extra 300, a £190,000 stunt plane capable of pulling 10 G. Mark Greenfield is a crack pilot in the Ultimate High Display Team. He's XRAF and a former global head of credit risk for a merchant bank. With some two and a half thousand flying hours under his belt, Greeners has agreed to get Steve used to the kind of forces he'll experience in the loop, Top Gun style. Typically, people are comfortable up to about four, four and a half G, uh, and I think it's that level that we're going to practice today. You've got a pump here, which is your heart, and it's working really, really hard to keep blood up here as well as blood down here. When we pull the positive G, that's effectively going to pull the blood towards the lower half of the body, which starves your head of oxygen. OK, and when your head gets starved of oxygen, that's a bad thing. First thing that'll happen is you lose your sight, OK, and then after a while, if you continue the sustained G, then you'll actually lose consciousness as well and go to sleep, OK? Now, one of the things that we'll look at today is bracing your body so that you're prepared for that impact, you're prepared for your body to have that reaction and you won't actually go to sleep, because I'm guessing that if you go to sleep as you go into this manoeuvre, it's not going to be good. Basically, to prepare for it, you want to minimise the blood transport capability in the lower half of your body. To do that, to constrict the arteries and the veins, you've got to tense all of your muscles, your stomach, your bum, your thighs, your calves, and you've got to stress them. Copy, Yankee, Roger. Two aircraft lining up for departure this time. Report that. Thing was extraordinary. I mean, the first really steep incline G pull just blew me away. I wasn't expecting it, and I almost lost consciousness. In fact, there's a couple of seconds I can't account for. So uh, that was pretty, uh, pretty intense. Okay, though, I can hold them there, that's 4G. 